Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing momentum and its relationship to mass and velocity. So stick around. So, what is momentum? Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Now what does that mean? In an equation, momentum is represented by P and the product means mass multiplied by velocity and that is the simple definition of momentum the units of a quantity can always be found can be derived from its formula so we have mass times velocity and the unit for mass is kilograms and velocity is meter per second and so the unit for momentum is kilograms meter per second Now since momentum is mass multiplied by velocity, if an object is not moving, it has a velocity of zero. It has no velocity basically. So when we substitute zero into the equation, then we get mass multiplied by zero. And anything multiplied by zero is zero of course. And so the momentum is zero. The momentum of an object that is not moving is zero. Momentum is directly proportional to velocity. What does that mean? Let's look at this. If the value of the velocity is small, let's say an object is moving slowly and therefore velocity will be very small. Now this velocity has to be multiplied by mass to get momentum. And so if the velocity is small given a constant mass, then the momentum would also be small. But if the velocity is high, if a car is moving fast, if an object is moving fast, then the velocity is large. Then, given that the mass is fixed, when the mass is multiplied by the large velocity, then the momentum, we expect it to be large as well. So when the velocity is large, the momentum is large. And when the velocity is small, the momentum is small. Momentum is directly proportional to velocity. Let's look at how momentum varies with mass. So given now, given the velocity is constant, the velocity doesn't change. Let's say we're dealing with a small, an object with a small mass. So a small car, for example. The product of the mass, the small mass with the velocity, would give us a small momentum. However, if the car was a larger car with a larger mass, then given that the velocity is fixed, the velocity is constant, when we multiply by a larger mass, of course, we would expect the, the momentum to be large as well. And so, momentum is directly proportional to the mass. When the mass is high, the momentum is large. When the mass is small, then the momentum is small as well. That's it, guys. This is the quick intro to momentum. Next, I will do conservation of momentum. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you learned something today, please hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next video.